What's going on, world? Welcome to episode 8, a message I call Get Back Up. It's so necessary in life sometimes to get back up. Life will push you down, it'll bring you to experiences and circumstances where you have two choices, give up or get up. So we're going to go right into the footage because we have shifted officially back to the under 10 minute format for the remainder of the sermon series just to make it easier for everybody to get it in. That word on demand which is so necessary. Just like getting back up in life is necessary. So let's go straight live to the source where Crossover is ministering to a youth group in a small personal setting where we share experiences about life and about just that. Get back up. Okay. How many of your lives are perfect in here? Let's see. One. Okay. <laughs> well, um, a part of what he's saying is you're going to endure things. You might endure a little bit of persecution for being a Christian. Uh, people might clown on you. They might think it's weak, a uh, soft look. They're not going to understand, especially when the culture, the music, the videos, and everything is telling you to be a gangster and you have to do this and that to fit in and fit this certain type of mold. So in terms of receiving that persecution, there are going to be times where you have to just brush it off and get back up. There are going to be times when people just straight up judge you for the things that you are doing for Christ, for the way you're living your life, and for just the spirit in them is at war against the spirit in you, because if it's not the Holy Spirit in them, they have the spirit of the world in them. But greater is the spirit that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. So you can just persevere through all that, count it all joy, like James talks about in chapter 1, and just keep pushing forward, just get back up and keep going, just brush that off. Amen. So this next track we're going to do is called Get Back Up. And it just kind of talks about how people may judge you for certain things. You know, when everything's going good, they want to be your friend. When they see you in a moment of popularity, they want to associate themselves with you. But really, they're, they're just out for themselves. They don't care about you. If they see you doing good, they might want to hang around. If they see you falling off, they might be the first ones to spit on you when you're down. But just don't stay down. Get back up. Just like Christ got back up from death. He took Amen. the crucifixion and he got back up. Amen. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Appreciated T.I., now I'm about to be high. Why? Cause someday you'll be seeing night fly to the sky. I don't mind saying bye to the earth once I'm in the dirt. Imitate Jehovah, brush it off my shoulder. So while I'm hurt, I'ma fight the good fight. Twelve rounds, looking death straight in the face. We have a stare down, but never seeing eye to eye, not even eye level. You're not on my level, so goodbye, devil. Plus I'm ready to go, I'm reaching for my shovel. This world is a slum, don't share my ghetto. But one day we'll be the Jeffersons, move on up and we'll get there by faith. You can never do enough. Hey Amen. Start praying to the man upstairs if you're trying to get up there. Plain ride, touch air. So, what up, player? What they say in the me? That's how they greeting me when I'm in peace. When they push you down, you got to get back up. When they push you down, you got to get back up. Push the dirt off the jersey, then go on the cup. On the trophy, on the ring, champion, no matter what. Cause when you got the bill in the ring, people with your popping bottles taking. Boss dog, when you a champ, everybody gunna for you with they whole camp. That's why Jesus died, his love is straight piff. Christ, the head of the body, he rose facelift. Boss man has some haters, yapping yeah, Pharisees. You know some Sadducees, nah, they not scaring me. They so sad, you see, cause them boys ain't real loving. They just rubber duck, no heart, just gloving. Looking like McLovin, they not in the end. They don't know Christ talk, they not in the mid. He's coming back, should be in a in it. You never know, I just open the flow, now enter it. Habanero, the beat up and spit, lighter fluid. Azusa Street Time, create a righteous movement. Snuff the cush, now push, holy, I'm hungry. Gotta keep on pushing, homie, I'm born B. So till the sun sleep, I'll be where the sun be. Ephesians 6, wrestling, King Kong Bundy. I was knocked down, but now I'm back up on my journey. Ever since he told me, J. Han, get off your gurney. When they push you down, you got to get I'm back up. And when they push you down, you got to get I'm just back up. Push the dirt off your jersey, then go for the cup. Or the trophy, or the ring, champion, no matter what. time in my life where I was down on my luck. I was down in the dump. I was one second away from ending my life, ending it all. Suicide. My wife left. My son was kidnapped. I felt death closing in. I felt the gates of hell unleashed against me. But there was a seed inside of me 
that my parents had planted that refused to die. It hung on to the Savior with everything that it had. And it hits me deep down if I really think about it, how close I was to dying. But he saved me. And I stand here today with a testimony that no matter what, you can't ever give up. You got to get back up. You got to go for it and do it. Amen. So I don't know if you guys are really hearing what he was saying. Like, hey, just share that, share that testimony one more time, because I really want you guys to understand that, that we all go through certain things in life. We all have a certain testimony. And some of you guys might not have experienced true hardships, but there might be a day where it might come. You know, and we all have, you know, I was your, your age too, and there was things that I was so upset about, whether it was with my parents, with school, with friends, different things. There were just so many things going on at a young age that I was trying to figure it all out. And we all go through certain things, so I really want you guys to, to hear Hans testimony because it's, it's, it's so powerful for what, what God can do in your life. You know, when you get knocked down, a lot of times we have to get knocked down in order really to, 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 to look up. Like he, he puts us, sometimes we get in that position where we, we hit rock bottom. I've been there. He's been there. There's a lot of us in this room that have been there to the point to where we are face down on the ground and there's nowhere else that we can turn to but God, but God. Uh, like I was saying, you know, sometimes it's hard to, to get it all out without getting emotional. So I'm going to give you the brief version, but there was a time in my life where you could say I had it all. I was someone people might want to be like. And then there was a time when a result of my decisions, a result of attaching the enemy, I had just lost it all. My, my stock had just crashed flat. I was just dirt broke, down on my luck. I was even living out of hotels at a certain point. And I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to just end it all. The devil had just been beating me down so bad. And I, I had stood in just a reflection of the man that I, that I once was. All the stuff that I had to just having absolutely nothing. Nothing to show for anything. That sin had just destroyed me. And everything that I had done didn't amount to anything anymore. And it was that, that, that time in my life I had to decide, do I really believe this? Do I believe this gospel that I've heard my whole life? Is Jesus enough? Is he enough that he, will, he can raise me back up and get me through these times? Do I really trust him? Do I really believe him? And it was through those times when I was at rock bottom and I wanted to kill myself and I had nothing in my life worth anything that was good at all and I had to make that decision. Do I believe this or don't I? And I didn't even really have to make that choice because the choice had already been made. I just had to understand that choice. I had to understand that I really did believe every word that I had ever heard about Jesus and I knew that he would raise me back up. I knew that no matter what, if I just kept going towards him, if I just kept my faith in him, that he would rescue me. Just like the dramatic scene at the end of the movie when it, 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 couldn't, it couldn't possibly look any darker. It couldn't possibly, even the people I knew who once believed in me was like, he's done for. He's, he's lost it. He's out of here. And those weren't the plans that God had for me. He had me go through this stuff so I could relate to people, so I could share it with people, people that have gone through this stuff. Maybe some of your parents have been divorced before and you've had to see that or you've had to deal with other things, I don't know. But I've gone through all that and I stand here today to tell you that Jesus Christ is alive Amen. and his love is more than real and he's more powerful than any force you could imagine and he can save you no matter, no matter how desperate things are. And that's real. If you want to hear my full testimony, go to YouTube and type in Jahan Testimony. This week was part one, and next week we're going to continue on this for part two, where it's going to be some very relevant, rare teaching for me about my personal experiences with demons. I've never shared any of this publicly. I've only shared it with a few people, but the Lord has impressed it on my heart to go ahead and make it public because this is the type of teaching that you won't find in your church that the true believer desperately craves and needs and the body of Christ needs, but it's just not taught anywhere. So next week... Remember to check it out, my personal experience with demons, their manifestations, and what happened with everything and God's role in it all. So remember to get back up. I'll see you next week. You never know, I just open the flow, now enter it. Habanero, the beat up and spit, lighter fluid. Azusa Street Time, create a righteous movement. Snuff the cushion, now push holy, I'm hungry.